Hey, what's up everyone? It's Franchise923. And in this video, I want to talk about a tool called Handbrake. So Handbrake allows you to, it's a tool, it's a free tool that allows you to convert between different video formats. So converting between like an uncompressed AVI file to MP4, for example. Um, so they have like a nice user GUI, user interface, um, but there's already a ton of um, YouTube videos on how you can use the user interface. So in this video, I want to focus on using the command line. Um, so I'm going to show you how we can use the command line and then how we can actually leverage that command line tool in Python. Um, because recently I had to do this exact same thing. Um, I had a project I was working on um, just basically converting a bunch of old um, AVI files that were taking up a ton of space into MP4. Uh, and I actually ended up using Python and this handbrake to, to do it. So um, let's, if, I mean, if that sounds interesting, just uh, keep watching. So let's just head over to the, their website here and we're gonna download the command line tool. So if you go to the downloads page, uh, there's this other area. So just click the command line version and whatever operating system you're on. So I'm on Windows right now, so I'm just gonna download this. And you can see it's already done. So I'm just gonna extract this and there should be an executable in here and that's the actual tool that we can use in the command line. So this tool, we just have to open up in the command line. But before we do that, I'm gonna copy it and move it from my downloads directory. I'm just gonna bring it to um, this folder where I have um, a big AVI file. So this is an example of an uncompressed video that I was talking about. So this video is, it's unnecessarily large. It's like 9.4 gigabytes and it's only 44 minutes. And the, the quality is not even that high. So it, this is a good candidate to compress um, to MP4. So let's just, um, shift right click this and we need to copy the path and now we're going to open a command line so if i open up the command prompt you can just start typing cmd and it should pop up and i'll just paste it in here and you see it's starting to do something so this is how we interact with handbrake you bring it into a command line and just open it up like that but you see it says missing input device so this just means it doesn't know what to do because you didn't provide it a file. So let's go back to the internet here and try to find some documentation for this. So I'm just gonna type handbrake CLI and here's the documentation. All right, so let's find the basics. All right, so the basics, this is the um, syntax of a basic command. So we're saying handbrake CLI, so that's the executable that we just put in the command line. And then the next prompt, or the next piece of information is the dash I. So we just type dash I, that means input. And now we need to give it the input file. So if I go back to this file and shift right click, copy that as a path and paste that in there. And now what's the next piece? the source oh no that's right dash i is the source now dash o is the destination so we need to give it dash o dash o and i'm actually going to paste the same exact location and just change the extension on it to dot mp4 and let's just click this and see what happens all right so you can see it's starting to encode so it's working um, so that's awesome, but you might be wondering like what, you know, we didn't really give it any, um, we didn't, um, explicitly say what we wanted it to do. We just said, do this. So right now it's using the default presets. Um, you can see here, it says this will encode with the default normal preset and you can get like as crazy as you want with all this stuff. But what I recommend and what I've been doing is following this uh, recommendation right here. So. This is just basically converting it to an MP4. This E is the encoding format, which is uh, X264, which is like the most popular these days. Um, and then dash Q, I think probably means quality, and that's 20. And then dash B is the bit rate for the audio, I think. 
and that's 160. So if if you're just looking to convert something simple, I would just follow this. And if you if you know what you're doing and you want to explore this more, then feel free. But this is just what I I've been doing. So I'm actually going to kill this one by hitting control C and then let's just delete that. And I'm going to clear the screen and then go back to our command that we just ran. And I'm just going to tack on these extra flags. And this is just giving it a little more, we're specifying exactly what, what we want it to do. So if I click enter now, it's just going to, it's going to go ahead and, and compress it with these settings. All right, guys, so we got about 15 seconds left. I just want to show you the task manager just to show you how the CPU is getting used a lot. So if you look at the CPU usage, it's really high. Uh, that's just because encoding is a very uh, CPU intensive process. And now you see it just dropped down to 13%. Um, so yeah, that is how we can do it with the command line. But now let's go ahead and figure out how we can use this in Python. So I'm going to open up my Python editor and I just have an empty script here and I'm going to show you two different ways of doing this. Um, and let me show you the first way, the easiest way first. So we're just going to import something called sub process and sub process basically allows us to just spawn a command line in Python. So it allows us to basically just think it as it of like opening a command prompt for you. So, we're going to open or import sub process. And now we have to make a, a list that is going to hold all the commands that we want to pass um, to the command line. So I'm just going to call this list handbrake commands. And uh, we just need to pass in these commands right here. So the same commands that we fed into the command line. So I'm going to copy all those and then paste them in here. And what we need to do, we need to put them in list format. So I'm going to copy this and put it in quotes and paste it there and put R. So it treats these as, or it doesn't treat these as escape characters and then comma. And now what's the next? piece of information it's that that dash i so dash i is its own item and then another comma now the next item is the input location which is this so paste that put the r in front of it all right the next piece of information is the output so dash o then comma, and now actually give it that output location. And we're going to change the name of this because this file already exists because we just did it with the command line. So paste that, put the R in front, and let's call this underscore from Python. From Python. All right, then we just have a few more commands here. So we already have those two. So dash E. Dash E. And then the next one was um, X264, I believe. X264. Yep. And dash Q and 20. Dash Q, comma, 20. And the next one was a um, capital B. So in quotes, dash capital B for I think that's bit rate, audio bit rate, and just 160. One sixty. All right, so all we've all we've done is uh, constructed this list that has all of the things that we want to pass into the uh, command line. So now we actually have to execute it in Python, and the way to do that we use this um, 
method of subprocess called uh, run. So we just say run, and now we just, what do we want to run? So we want to run the handbrake command. Actually, let's call it handbrake command. And we also want to pass another parameter called shell equals true. And this is going to allow us to see all of this output from the shell uh, in Python. So let's give that a whirl. And with any luck, this will work. All right, so we see some output. And there you go. We see that it's starting to encode. If we check our CPU, it's spiked way up to 100%. And uh, that's it. That's the basics of how we could get that working. So I hope you can begin to see, like now that we can access this in Python, we can do all kinds of cool things. So something might that you might want to um, do that would be useful is like loop through a directory and um, convert every like AVI file in that directory, for example. So if I just just copy this AVI file a bunch of times, actually this file is huge. So I'll, I'll just copy it once and show you what I'm talking about. But we can just create a for loop. Um, so actually, actually, maybe I'm going to talk about this in the next video. Let's just keep this as simple as possible for now. So there you go. That's the basics of accessing this in Python. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can loop through a directory and execute this. And then I'm also going to show you a different method that's going to give us even more shell output. Um, and that is it. If you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching.